Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and this is your question of the day. So, somebody asked me, what can an individual expect regarding their own rights even if they're employed when they develop, invent, or create something? For instance, my dad has invented a bunch of stuff and he's listed as an inventor on about 20 patents. How does the relationship work between employees and their employer? What about my friend who doesn't have the right to further develop something she's worked on for years? Okay, so the rules regarding patents and other IP are different. So if you are an inventor of something, you have to be listed on the patent application. Now, that's the rule, but many times companies have their employees sign contracts as part of their employment agreement that says that they will assign all rights to any intellectual property created to the company. So you can be listed as an inventor on a patent, but not own the patent. Make sense? Okay. Now, if your job involves creating something for the company, whether it's um, software, marketing materials, um, any original works, everything that you create within the scope of your employment automatically is owned by your employer. And the employer is the author of the work, not you. This is if you are an employee. If you are an independent contractor, you have to have um, a, a written assignment for the employer to own whatever you created. But employees, everything you create within the scope of your job is authored and owned by the company. And companies can put in your employment contract uh, as part of like a non-compete agreement that anything that you create um, during your during the scope of your work is owned by the company and you cannot in the future compete with the company in a way that would leave them at a disadvantage. So that is why you see situations where someone works on a project for years and then once they leave the company, they can't work on that specific type of project uh, for another company because it would violate their non-compete agreement. Assuming non-compete agreements are legal in the state under which the employment contract was written. See how complicated this gets? This is this is why we have lawyers. So yeah, I would say when you are uh, looking at your employment paperwork, read it carefully so that you understand what rights you give up um, in exchange for being able to be an employee at a company so that you understand what you do and don't own. Because a lot of people assume that because they worked on something, they own it. And then you see situations where someone leaves the company and then maybe puts up a personal portfolio of their work with copies of things they've worked on in the past. And what they're doing is committing infringement against their employer because they actually own it, the employee does it. So uh, if you have any questions about the rights in your state, about non-compete agreements or intellectual property rights, please consult a lawyer in your community. Because of course, watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship with any viewer. It's merely legal information, not legal advice. If you need legal advice, go hire somebody. That's all I have for now. Please subscribe to the channel as I put up new content every week. And until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.